Hey guys. Welcome to AWS DBA. In this session, we are going to see about common management tasks for PostgreSQL on Amazon RDS. Common management tasks for PostgreSQL on Amazon RDS. The following are the common management tasks you perform with an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL DB instance with links to relevant documentation for each task. Task area. Relevant documentation. Setting up Amazon RDS for first time use. There are prerequisites you must complete before you create your DB instance. For example, DB instances are created by default with a firewall that prevents access to it. You therefore must create a security group with the correct IP addresses and network configuration to access the DB instance. Setting up for Amazon RDS Understanding Amazon RDS DB instances if you are creating a DB instance for production purposes, you should understand how instance classes, storage types, and provisioned IOPS work in Amazon RDS. DB instance classes Amazon RDS Storage types Provisioned IOPS SSD storage Finding supported PostgreSQL versions Amazon RDS Supports several versions of PostgreSQL. Supported PostgreSQL database versions. Setting up high availability and failover support. A production DB instance should use multi as deployments. Multi as deployments provide increased availability, data durability, and fault tolerance for DB instances. High availability, multi as for Amazon RDS. Understanding the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, VPC, network. If your AWS account has a default VPC, then your DB instance is automatically created inside the default VPC. In some cases, your account might not have a default VPC, and you might want the DB instance in a VPC. In these cases, Create the VPC and subnet groups before you create the DB instance. Determining whether you are using the EC2 VPC or EC2 Classic platform. Working with a DB instance in a VPC. Importing data into Amazon RDS, PostgreSQL. You can use several different tools to import data into your PostgreSQL DB instance on Amazon RDS. Importing data into PostgreSQL on Amazon RDS. Setting up read-only read replicas, primary and standbys. PostgreSQL on Amazon RDS supports read replicas in both the same AWS region and in a different AWS region from the primary instance. Working with read replicas. Working with PostgreSQL read replicas in Amazon RDS. Creating a read replica in a different AWS region. Understanding security groups. By default, DB instances are created with a firewall that prevents access to them. You therefore must create a security group with the correct IP addresses and network configuration to access the DB instance. In general, if your DB instance is on the EC2 Classic platform, you need to create a DB security group. If your DB instance is on the EC2 VPC platform, you need to create a VPC security group. Determining whether you are using the EC2 VPC or EC2 Classic platform. Controlling access with security groups. Setting up parameter groups and features. If your DB instance is going to require specific database parameters, you should create a parameter group before you create the DB instance. Working with DB parameter groups. Performing common DBA tasks for PostgreSQL. Some of the more common tasks for PostgreSQL DBAs include creating roles, managing PostgreSQL database access, working with PostgreSQL parameters, 
working with PostgreSQL Auto Vacuum on Amazon RDS. Audit logging for a PostgreSQL DB instance. Working with PostGIS. Using PG Badger for log analysis with PostgreSQL. Using a custom DNS server for outbound network access. Common DBA tasks for PostgreSQL. Connecting to your PostgreSQL DB instance. After creating a security group and associating it to a DB instance, you can connect to the DB instance using any standard SQL client application such as Gadmin 3. Connecting to a DB instance running the PostgreSQL database engine. Using SSL with a PostgreSQL DB instance. Backing up and restoring your DB instance. You can configure your DB instance to take automated backups, or take manual snapshots, and then restore instances from the backups or snapshots. Backing up and restoring an Amazon RDS DB instance. Monitoring the activity and performance of your DB instance. You can monitor a PostgreSQL DB instance by using CloudWatch Amazon RDS metrics, events, and enhanced monitoring. Viewing DB instance metrics. Viewing Amazon RDS events. Upgrading the PostgreSQL database version. You can do both major and minor version upgrades for your PostgreSQL DB instance. Upgrading a PostgreSQL DB instance. Choosing a major version upgrade for PostgreSQL. Working with log files. You can access the log files for your PostgreSQL DB instance. PostgreSQL database log files. Understanding the best practices for PostgreSQL DB instances. Find some of the best practices for working with PostgreSQL on Amazon RDS. Best practices for working with PostgreSQL.